Hey, what's up YouTube? Back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I fixed the dash cam finally. So if you saw my last video where I went over sentry mode, you're gonna see where I talked about I used a very cheap eight gigabyte flash storage drive and it wasn't giving me any problems. Now that I'm on 2019.6.2, I've had the dash cam give me that gray X multiple times and I've had to reset it as you can see here up at the top of the screen where the dash cam will actually have that gray X on top instead of the red dot that it should have. And so I wanted to do this video showing you how I was ultimately able to fix this issue. So I reached out to my buddy who's also a Tesla owner and actually builds memory for a living. I took out the old flash drive that I was using, the cheapo one that I had got, actually like a pack of 10 of them, and I just had those laying around. So I took that one out, went on Amazon and ordered the exact one that he told me to order. I'll put a link to that product down below. So after a couple days, the USB drive shows up at my door. That's the sound of all retail stores dying. And out of the package comes a much larger 64 gigabyte compared to my eight gigabyte USB thumb drive. So what I wanna show you guys is how much smaller this thing is. And if you have a Model S or an X, USB ports are kind of where you put your daily stuff uh, in that center console. Then you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at this little guy because it's so much smaller than the other USB drive or any regular USB drive. Okay, now let's jump over to the Mac and I'll show you how to set this dash cam up. So first what you wanna do is go to disk utility and you can just press command space to search for disk utility. And you're gonna to wanna to format this into MS-DOS FAT. And then once you do that, you select your drive, you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Tesla Cam because that's what it's gonna be. And we hit erase. And so it does its thing. And once you see that blue done button, you can go ahead and click the done button. Then we're gonna go over to finder and locate the USB. And so once you have that uh, selected, then you're just gonna double click and hit new folder, that's it. And then type Tesla cam with a capital T and a capital C with no space. Hit enter when you're done and that is it. That is all you have to do to set up your dash cam. So once you're done here, just make sure you hit that eject button to properly eject the USB. Then we're gonna head back to the car and plug in our USB storage, just like the last one did. And as you can see right here, we got the red dot over the dash cam, which is perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. And so I actually recorded this video footage about a week ago and I've been driving with this feature on. And over the last week, I've never had to take the USB out. So the problem is solved. Previously, I would get the gray X every couple days and I would have to take it out and uh, reformat it. Quick shout out to Tesla Tidbits. Great podcast if you like hearing all the latest news about Tesla. The guy over there does a great job. Before we go, I wanna mention one more thing. If you are interested in purchasing or leasing any new Tesla, now is a great time because this is the last day that you can get 5,000 miles of free supercharging using the link down below. So if you click the link down below, it'll take you to that order page where you see 5,000 miles of free supercharging. That expires today. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.